first day of school, right? Of course, Melanie misses the bus on her first day. So she wakes me and Holly up. Like, I don't know, 6 o'clock in the morning, a little bit after. Uh, saying she missed the bus. So Holly took her out to the ferry. Because that's what the bus does. It picks, well, they ride the ferry like every day all the way to her school. It's like a 40 minute ferry ride. Poor girl. Every day. She rides ferry every single day. But anyway, uh, Holly ended up having to drive her to meet the bus at the ferry so she can make it to school. Um, but everything happens for a reason. Um, I woke up. Usually once I wake up, I don't go back to sleep. So I fixed me some coffee and uh, took me a golf cart ride out to the campground. And I saw something uh, that I'm very excited about. Something that I've been waiting for to happen uh, for quite some time now. So everything happens for a reason. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up early. Uh, and I don't usually just take a golf cart ride in the morning, usually. So uh, actually, I haven't even been to the campground uh, in, in, I guess, a couple days or something. So um, I'm about to hook up some breakfast. So I'm going to wake Holly up. I guess with an omelet, because I know she's going to be mad if I wake her up and make her get out of bed, but I have to, because it's just, there's something we got to do, and I really want to show y'all, so I'm going to bring y'all, like, with us, and let you see what we've been waiting on, um, I got to give Holly most of the credit, because she spotted, she spotted this. And, uh, and sold me on it big time. I was like, heck yeah, I can't believe you've seen that, you know. So we've been waiting for this day. Uh, actually, for like months, we've been waiting on this. So um, I'm about to hook up some breakfast, do some omelet time. And uh, I'm going to take y'all for a ride with us. Hopefully I can get Holly up and motivated for too long. So hopefully breakfast will do it for All right, y'all ready to help me make uh, Holly the best omelet ever? <laughs> I'm ready. I usually make my omelets with like three eggs, right? And then I just grab like a bunch of stuff, like some garlic and herb seasoning. Ah, not bad. Put a little bit of that in there. Cilantro. Oh, yeah. Uh, what else we got? How about a little bit of ground ginger? Oh, yeah. And what we got? Crushed rosemary. Why And some red pepper flakes, get a little bit of spice. Not too much, because that stuff will light you up. Alright, so then we're going to mix it up real good. I want to put one teaspoon of coconut oil in the pan. Nice where we can flip it over now. 
see all the seasonings in that. Flip that over. Now we are going to use some Italian garden. Put a little bit of that stuff on there. do too much cheese but uh it's kind of hard to eat an omelet without cheese about some pepper jack turkey bacon on there, but not this one. We're doing it easy, so we're just going to throw us some sliced turkey on here. Better than I hop right there, boy. Oh yeah. Let it heat up. And spinach and stuff will get all soft. Oh yeah. Now that's my redneck omelet. For this project, I really, really wish I could just use a chainsaw. Unfortunately, there's gonna be water involved, so, and uh, brackish water at that. So, I'm not gonna be able to use a chainsaw. So, I am going to have to use these. There could be a better way, but uh, I can't seem to think of one. So, a little bit of manual labor. Y'all ready to go for a ride? I mean, you woke me up early enough, told me that the day was an exciting day, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so. How was that omelet? It was, it was banging. <laughs> If he makes a banging omelet. <laughs> Should have made a video. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Chris wakes me up at the damn crack of dawn. You know, I usually like to sleep in. If Elion sleeps in, I'm going to sleep in. That's, that's the way it goes. Chris wakes me up early, says, oh my gosh. God wanted us to wake up early this morning. There is a hurricane coming, which is making this day a good day because uh putting my stick in the mailbox so so they know to stop by and pick up our our packages but uh anyway i was saying 
a hurricane is the reason that is making this day possible. So, what? Thank you, Lord, for bad weather. I would love to see what you're talking about. You are going to see very, very soon. So, so y'all just hang out with us. Enjoy the ride. I'm about to show y'all something really cool. <laughs> uh, me and Holly spotted this like months ago. Oh. So we have been waiting for this moment for months. And how do you know it's ready? Because I went down to the campground <laughs> this morning. I took a cruise, I took my coffee, something just told me to go take a ride. And it's ready? Uh, and it's ready. So y'all just hang with us. Uh, I think I'm about to get wet <laughs> and do some work. So y'all take a ride with us through the campground. I'm about to show y'all something pretty cool. Thanks to Holly's creativity, she actually spotted this first. It was months ago. Yeah, it was months ago. And we have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And today is the day? And today is the day. There was like one day, I could have got it one day, but I had stayed up like all night long and I was just like tired. I had like zero energy. So I was like, I'm not doing it today. I'll come back tomorrow. And then it was like and then I went back. underwater. Yeah, I went back the next day and it was just covered with water. So I, you, could, you couldn't even hardly see nothing but just the top of it. So today is gonna be the day, even though I only slept, what, two hours before Melanie woke us up. Oh God, yeah, it's the first day of school for Melanie. Melanie's yeah. back. Melanie's back so at school. She missed a daggum bus. I think I didn't go to bed until what, like four in the morning or something, and then she wakes us up at like six. Yeah. So I got so. woken up at six by Melanie, and then at like nine thirty by Chris. So I just, I'm, I'm lost in this. And world. usually, usually when I wake up, I don't go back to sleep. But anyway, let me show y'all some scenery instead of our faces. <laughs> Take y'all for a ride through the campground. And we are at the water. <laughs> and you're about to see what I'm talking about because the wind shifted directions. It's so far down. Yeah, and it blew the water out. Oh, wow. Which is perfect for us. And if the wind keeps blowing, it's going to go way out. So you'll actually be able to see everything oh that's gosh, out here. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. Holly's never seen it like this. Uh -uh. I've literally seen it, like, see that stick right there? I've seen it, the water out past that, where you could actually walk. I've actually ridden my golf cart out oh, here before. That's cool. So. I'm excited now. I'm excited, but I feel like I'm about to work my butt off. <laughs> it's going to be so, a lot of work. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. I doubt it. But we're blowing up. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think we're blowing up like J. Craig. Nah. Uh, nah. We're not <laughs> <laughs> I only got jokes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> nope, couldn't do it. Dragon 
dragonfly beach back here. Oh yeah. This is where all the dragonflies Dragon, hang out. Dragonflies love to win. Oh my gosh, it's so far back. That's so cool. And here we are. Yeah, this is the spot where <coughs> I just want to put a double wide. This used to be me and Holly's makeout spot before yep. before we had Ellie on. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like sticking out so far. It's so crazy. Check this out, y'all. Tell me what you see when you look at this. The water is out now where you can actually see it. But the water is usually so high that you can just barely see the top of it. Wow. Check that out. That is going to be Badass. To <laughs> Eliana's got a front row seat. <laughs> this is gonna be some work. Yeah. You gonna explain to him what uh what this thing is? I don't know. Should we let him guess for a while? <sighs> we'll let him guess for a while. <laughs> we're gonna let we're gonna let y'all guess what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> when I first saw this. I, I saw instantly what it should be. So maybe maybe there's some creative folks out there that could look at this and say, you know what? That's going to make a great... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I should set up the tripod. What is your estimate? How heavy do you think this thing is? Uh, I don't know, 50... Driftwoodzilla heavy? 50 to 100 pounds. I'm thinking... It mean, you think driftwood's a little heavy? No, it ain't that heavy, but it's heavy. So I'll be able to help? Yeah, if I even need help to pick it up. I mean, but but yeah, I, another hand's always good. Wow. So.
You looking forward to the work you're about to have to do? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's gonna be worth it. <coughs> get started. I have a feeling this water's gonna keep going out for the next couple of days. But when's the hurricane supposed to come? I don't know. I don't watch the news. I just go with it. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I feel bad because I'm, well, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce her last name, but she watches uh, Florence. I think it's Florence de Valder. Now that's just me pretending to know French because I don't. But she's from France, and she was the first person to write us a note saying that she was worried about us because there was a hurricane coming. And she wrote it in French, and I had to translate it. Oh, really? <laughs> and uh, she said she wanted to make sure that we were safe and that there was a tropical storm hurricane coming. So Florence from France. <laughs> we're okay at the moment. Yeah, nothing good. yet, but I think we're supposed to have a storm tomorrow. Tonight and maybe tomorrow. I, I that's just word of mouth that I heard it from. Oh my gosh, these hurt, these hurt, these hurt. Ow, ow. Well, I guess I should start working on this. I really, I want to cut as far down to the water or to the ground as possible. Oh, this is gonna be. Yeah, it probably would have been wise to bring a shovel. But, I mean, I don't want it to be but so high anyway, so... And the main thing is cutting the bottoms where they will be level so this thing will sit flat. But why? Why do you want it to sit flat? Take a wild guess. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, it was your idea. <clears throat> you badass. Well, I guess I guessed it. She was like, what do you think of this? I was like, dang, that would be <laughs> sweet. And of course, we had the same idea. Elian! Elian!
Uh, uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit of work. Oh man. Uh, uh, beat up. Huh. Hell yeah. Are you a happy baby? Are you a beach baby? <laughs> You a beast, baby. Huh. <laughs> Gonna start crawling at the beach? We just gotta be careful and not let him get sand in his eyes. As soon as he touches his eyes, he's gonna get sand in them. Hey, my baby. Can you crawl to mama? Can you crawl to mama? Can you crawl? Man, he raised himself up. You see that? Uh huh. Look at that big boy. He gonna crawl. <laughs> well, had that towel ready to brush his hands off. <laughs> oh no, he's so close. <laughs> Don't let him touch his eyes, Mama. Alright, so I'm literally working my fingers to the bone with this handsaw. I was trying to protect some of most of my tools. I really don't want my tools getting like brackish water on them and rusting. But uh, now I'm thinking more clearly. I'd rather uh, sacrifice a tool than the skin on my knuckles. So I'm gonna get smarter. I'm gonna go home and get something a little faster. Proud of yourself? Now, do people know what it is yet? <sighs> now I gotta cut all of them bottoms the same length. So, kind of sucks. If I was, it probably would have been smarter to wait until the water was further out. Thank God the camera wasn't on that. God. That would have sucked. <laughs> it just broke. Damn handle just broke off. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Dude, that was lucky that you took it off just then. Uh, well, if I would have waited till the water went all the way down, I could have cut a lot more off like these legs that are sticking up 
so now I'm going to have to trim all of them the same height. So, it is what it is. So, I'm also probably going to have to trim that part, which is going to hurt my feelings, because that looks awesome. So, I don't know. We're probably going to let this sit for probably about six months, at least a few months. So, we'll have plenty of time to look at it and decide what exactly we're going to do to it. We know what it's going to be. But we just don't know exactly how we're going to do it yet. What you think, Miss Holly? I know I'm not going to allow you to cut that off. <laughs> no way. That's what makes it so cool. But, I'm thinking... You know, there would be a way to like make faces and stuff, you know what I mean? Like actual faces for that face. For yeah. That. We don't have to cut anything off. Yeah, we could Add use to it. We could use other driftwood. We could use other driftwood to put under those and decorate the parts that are sticking up. Or even if it's just nice just nice what uh decorative pieces of wood. Cedar, I don't know, just something yeah. nice. That yeah. Can sit on evenly. Yeah, some kind of nice base. Yeah. Build a base for it or something. A decorative base. That would be sweet. And you can't even tell that some are shorter. Like once, once you're done, you wouldn't even be able to tell. But we've been waiting a long time to be able to get this. And it's a good thing our camera was not sitting on that tripod when it <laughs> fell over right in the water. That would have stunk. Zoomed in, don't you? Heck yeah. Um, hope y'all enjoyed helping me cook Holly some breakfast this morning. Waking her up in a good mood. And hope y'all enjoyed the stroll through the campground. And uh, hanging out with us while we got us an awesome piece of been waiting for. What do you do with it? Make a coffee table. Yes! Yeah. This is gonna be like the most badass <clears throat> coffee table ever. I'm thinking some kind, I don't know if I'm gonna use wood or glass I think for the glass. Little top. So more you than, can see everything. Yeah, more than likely glass. Or maybe make something out of epoxy. Something you can make me see. Sure. So we're gonna take this home, probably wrap it up in a tarp, and just let it sit for a while. Let it dry out like as much as possible. And uh, we gotta find a good idea for a top. Possibly something free would be amazing. Something free Maybe would be in really the months, cool. Maybe you know, while it's drying out, we'll find something amazing. Yep, I'm sure it gotta give us something that we need. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. And, uh, if you hadn't already, subscribe. Love y'all. Thanks for everything, YouTube family. Love you guys.